Hey beautiful people, it's your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries, g.w.deliver2020 at gmail.com. This is the Narcissistic Recovery, Uplifting, Encouraging, Getting Closer to God, Repenting, Fasting channel. I just added that. Um, guys, I just wanted to come on here with a quick word of certain things that I have experienced. Remember I said how God bring things back to my remembrance, certain things, and I'll come on and tell you guys because if you're dealing with a narcissist and the new supply, you are dealing with this too. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we just want to thank you for the early morning rise, God. We want to ask that you forgive our sins, our trespasses, and our shortcomings. Thank you for protection over the weekend, God. Thank you for encamping your angels around us um, for the rest of the week, God. Allow us to know you even better today than yesterday. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, so let me just say this, right? So, especially the women, it could be for the men too, but let me just say something to the women, right? When the narcissist leave you and get a new supply, um, women, we automatically just think that the narcissist from the pictures and the social media and from family members and from friends coming back telling you that they're doing some, so well that you, it makes you feel automatically that the narcissist is treating the new supply better than you which the enemy causes you to think well what did I do wrong if she's smaller than you you say well was I too fat if she's lighter than you you question yourself was you too dark if her hair is shorter than yours well did he like short hair um you begin to compare yourself to the new supply thinking that the narcissist is doing the new supply better than you for the things that you are seeing or the things that you are being told, right? Um, let me just say this. I, once again, it's a lie. Remember, the new supply doesn't have a personality like you, right? So because you guys are different... And going in, it's certain things that the narcissist have to do that he may not have done for you because it didn't require that, that he has to do for the new supply before he bamboozled or she bamboozled the new supply. You guys understand where I'm coming from. The personality of the person is different, which causes the narcissist to his approach to be different before, before he tries to destroy the mind of the new supply. But let me just tell you this of what I have been experiencing or what I remember I experienced. The narcissist that left you, he talks about you in a bad way to the new supply. And especially if he's talking about you in a bad way to the new supply. I don't care how much that new supply is believing what the narcissist is saying, saying about you. And the new supply begin to not like you. But let me tell you what you guys don't understand as women and what we think. And women, I want you to come with me. And men, I will begin to see if I can help you as well, right? But women, if the narcissist is talking about you to this new supply, which is causing the new supply not to like you, and, 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 it's, and, and the job is to cause the new supply to be better than you, which becomes draining. But let me tell you that uh, uh, um, a spirit that um, uh, women have that God gave us that we may not agree with is if the, new, if the narcissist is talking about you 
to the old supply constantly, even if it's bad, it's going to make that new supply jealous of you. Because underwritedly, the new supply is going to feel like, well, if she's that bad, why are you still talking about her? They may not say that to the narcissist because they want, the new supply wants to feel like she's on the narcissist side so she just agrees with the narcissist. So, but really it makes the new supply jealous of you, which will cause the new supply to, let me see what this girl is. Um, this is why it's so important. If you have a social media, you post in pictures that you don't look broke, busted and disgusted and that you don't post woe is me, um, words. Oh, I'm going through today. Not a good day or oh, look at me and you put a picture I lost weight this this and that you best to believe the new supply is going to look at your picture and either be like oh yeah she ugly I don't know why he was with her or wait a minute he's talking about her but she seemed to be doing her thing this is why people we cannot be posting um, certain things for everybody to know and to go on. And even though the narcissist is talking bad about you, um, the new supply is going to feel some type of way that he keeps talking about you to the point she want to go, shut up. Like, why you keep talking about her? Okay, if she's that bad, I don't understand why you keep talking about her. But the new supply won't say that to the narcissist. But what it's going to do, it's going to make, the, the new supply mimic you and jealous of you. This is why you don't have to mimic the new supply and be jealous of the new supply because I'm telling you what I know, what I've been through. I remember one time um, I, I'm, I'm at a new church and the narcissist came to my church, but the narcissist, <laughs> look how cruddy they are, right? The narcissist started messing with one of the girls at my church. Yeah, you heard me. One of the wink, weaker link girls at my church. Spirit, no spirit. She had a lustful spirit. He has a lustful spirit. And because he came in there all Gucci down and, and flashing money and praising God. Girl, let me tell y'all something. I ain't never see this girl since I've been to that church, lift her hands and praise God and, and do none of that. Oh, baby, when he walked in that church, she was automatically saved. I promise you, she was lifting her hands and she was crying. And I guess she thought like that's what it would take to to um to draw him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting back laughing and I can tell that because this is who he is they are lustful and remember i said that that demon needs to feed so whereas in she thought because of who i was in ministry oh he gotta be good because remember narcissists only deals with people who can normalize them to society because they are abnormal and because of my normality in life and in ministry she thought Oh, yeah, he has to be something um, because she dealt with him. Oh, yeah, baby, no. Now, I promise you, and I had to ask God to forgive me, right? Because I can tell that he was messing with her mental, right? And I would just pray for her, like, to the point... When I would worship, I would stand up. She would look at me and she would stand up. And I said, wait, is she mimicking me? So I would sit down. She would look back and she would sit down. When I would do praise and worship, like, I remember this one time. I was so distracted by her watching me trying to mimic me so she could get his attention by mimicking me. Because regardless to what, I know the narcissist that was dealing, the narcissist and them dealing, he let, he made her feel like, oh, you ain't nothing. I'm only, because this is the type of narcissist that I met with. He belittled women 
And the more he belittled women, the closer they became to him and wanted him more and wanted to know what was it about me that he keep talking about me saying he going to marry me. I'm only here with you because she no longer want to be with me. And none of that is true. And the truth of the matter is what they don't know is he did me the same way. He caused me mental anguish. He um messed with my emotions and my spiritual world with God but because of me getting myself together and God delivering delivering me they did not see my go through they only saw my outcome and they thought it had to be all good so it causes them with him talking about me it causes the women to be jealous and 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 want want to mimic me and be like me because now the narcissist wind them, dined them, loved bombed them and did all of this and then discard it. I could tell every time, even now I could tell every time when she come to church, he discard her because she come to church um, not dressed like she no, no, no makeup. Like her eyes look swollen as if she was crying all night and I'm like Guys, help her to get set free. Help her to get set free. So, women and men and men, when these men, when these women, the narcissistic women get with other men, their job is, see, a narcissistic man doesn't necessarily feel like they have to deal with a woman that is better than another woman because their whole thing is sex. He may deal with someone who has money, but a narcissistic man, nine times out of 10, don't have a preference of a woman. She could be short, fat, bald head, long hair, cross-eyed, thick bifocals. She could have 22 kids and all of this. His thing is sex. His thing is he needs to feed that demon. He needs to feed that demon. But a narcissistic woman that deals with a man, it's all about image. So a narcissistic female that deals with a man is going to try to deal with a man. Men, yes, that probably appears to be better than you. But remember, he's still a form of an empath and still has a form of a brokenness. And because the narcissistic woman, a uh, woman that's going to deal with the man She's going to go in definitely also like the narcissistic man with the woe is me story, which will cause the man to feel like he needs to be better than her ex. And also he needs to protect her from her ex and not knowing that, no, bro, you about to need protection from her. But men is a little different because now the man has to do something and go above and beyond and do for this narcissistic woman even if he don't got it he has to appear that he has it and even if she break him he has to find ways and i know some men that have done schemes opened up business accounts and get business credit cards to keep this woman afloat because of the image that she set upon him and talking about you and the good things and the bad things you used to do to her. You you guys following me? Y'all understand what I'm saying? So you don't have to feel like this, the new supply is, re is reaping the benefits of the narcissist because you missed the love bombing. Because the love bombing is what you only miss. Because that was only the good thing for us. Because that's what captured us. Was the love bombing. Um, yes, he's going to love bomb her. Yes, she's going to love bomb him. And yes, she's going to probably give that man the best sex of his life. The narcissistic lady. And um, the narcissistic man. Yes, he's going to be supportive to the woman that he is dealing with. He's going to show up to family functions and be introduced to the family but you best to believe that one knowledgeable um family member that got discernment is going to also tell that new supplier uh-uh he ain't the one so 
both narcissists has to make a great impression. Hence why they want to be a part of your family. But then when a family member discovers, no, he ain't the one. Then they want you to be separate from your family because they no longer want no one to put something in your ear. You guys understand what I'm saying? So where you feel like in the beginning, no, the new supply may hate you. And it may appear that they are doing so much better than you. And she even feels like, and as women, I don't, we have to want to not be better than the person that we feel like the person that we're dealing with now. No, you be you. You, you're not in competition with nobody ex. We don't have to be in competition with nobody ex. You be you. And if the person that you're with tries to make you feel like you got to be in competition with them, red flag. So don't think after a while, the new supply, yes, she may feel like she hates you. Yes, she may feel like it may feel like she's posting about you. And she may be. But now it's to the point now she's jealous of you. Now he's jealous of you. Yes, they want to mimic you and they will never tell you that. But when you post, post beautiful things. Post how God has brought you out and he's doing a new thing for you in this season. Don't go on there with your hair not done and you posting woe is me statements like I'm getting through it. I know people that be posting about their ex. I miss him and I wish he would come back. And the narcissists are like it. <laughs> we got to do better. <laughs> we got to do better, guys. That new supply on both sides. Men and women are jealous of you. And they want to mimic you. Because the narcissist keeps talking about you. Whether it's bad or good. And that's a red flag. When you get within a relationship moving forward and the person that you're dealing with keeps talking about their ex, that means they want to be in competition. They want you to be in competition with their ex. No. Let's get free, people. Because it's a trick. It's a trick and an illusion of what you're seeing and it's not that. It's not that. The new supply is jealous of you. You need to know that. You guys have a blessed day. I love you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you to those who have sown in the ministry. I am so grateful to you. May God um, increase your 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 monetary gifts for sowing. Um, I know some of you don't have and you still sow. Um, you sowing seeds on good ground. Thank you so much. Um, when you sow into the pro into a profit, God said you'll get a profit reward, whether it's good health or getting your mind back. Um, I was sowing seeds don't only come back in a form of money. Um, being in good health and being able to wake up in your right mind is also um prosperity too, guys. So thank you to everyone that has shared and liked and to all my new subscribers, you the truth. To all my old subscribers, I love you and thank you for rocking out with me. Remember, pray, repent, and fast. Fast, repent, and pray. Um, today is a good day to have a great day. Guys, we woke up and we got another chance to get this right. I love you. Have a wonderful day.